Day six B sides, they be hitting different. And it's not to say that their title tracks are bad, because they're not. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we uh, continue with the Everyday Six project from 2017. This is the B side for the month of May. It is called Man in a Movie. These thumbnails of the guys are, I mean, Young K right in the middle. He's got a big old smile on his face. You'll see here in just a second when I swap over. Uh, but let's not waste any more time time on this. It's day six. We already know they're gonna have fire vocals. Let's see what kind of song they put for us on, on this one. Let's go. Okay, sent. Ooh, okay. I like that intro there from Doan. It was a little bit. Okay, I'm really liking how, like there's no guitar here yet. This is just key, bass, and drum. And obviously, do, do, woon, do woon. Uh, let me know how to correctly say that again. If it's Wan or Woon, I know he's got two O's. Um, help me out there a little bit. Um, but Wan Pill was, was the start with the synth as far as like kind of setting everything up. And in the beginning, he almost, there was one where he, where I'm pretty sure I did this number where I took my held sometimes because it's like, ooh, what was that? Uh, where he almost went dissonant and I think he went down. Um, but, um, they're all filling a certain space right now to where it doesn't feel empty with the guitars not there yet. Because like, because Wan Pill's playing, uh, what are these, 16th notes? And Young K's not on the bass. He's not He's not straight writing with what Wan Pill or Do Wan's doing for that matter on the drums. He's filling it. Jay. Ooh, I like that build. Wow. I'm loving this sonically, like everything that's happening, musicality right here. This is really really cool okay okay that pre-course was great even right now like they've almost got one of the guitars acting almost like a, a second a second voice like harmonizing with with the main vocals it's really really cool like, I don't know. Let's see, let's see if we can, if I can help y'all pick it out. If you don't hear it, it's it's almost like a kind of sound. Obviously, it doesn't quite sound like that, but it's like listen to the the vocals and see if you can pick it out. Kind of following, and that's the second guitar. It just it just. Like it's almost like an alternate harmony line, if that make you know, if that makes sense. That's something I realize I say that makes sense a lot. Is this in six eight? I think this is in six eight time. I think this is six eight time. Let me know if I'm wrong for any of my other, you know, music people that are, are watching this. But I believe it's six eight. And for those that don't know, six eight is a uh, it's an odd time signature because it almost feels like it's 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 almost like a, a waltz, but it's not actually a waltz, and it's not straight ahead of you know because typically you, you you hear four on the floor, which is. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But if you heard me, I was counting through six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, because the the snare hit is on the four, but it's not a straight you can't you can't count to four. I mean you can, but it's gonna be on the two and the four, and it's it's not gonna hit the same every single time, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, I think it's 6-8 time. I'm, I'm really positive it's 6-8. So I won't say it's a like a super popular song, but there's another song that I know that's 6-8 off the top of my head. Uh, I guess technically there's two. There's Pink Floyd, um, Money. Is it Money? I'm 95% I'm sure it's Money, that's 6-8. And then P.O.D. did a song for the Matrix soundtrack, uh, the second Matrix called Sleeping Awake. And that was also in 6-8 time. Uh, there's, there's others, but it's a rant about time. Uh, Rush has countless so songs uh, in, in six, eight time as well. It's just, it's, it's a, it's just a fun time to ride in, but it's an odd time to see um, from some, I'll say from someone like day six, who I'm still getting into obviously. And I've said that they're incredible musicians, but to see this, I'll say at this early in their careers is surprising, a good surprising, but surprising. Especially since Bob had only been playing guitar for three months before they debuted. Like, what? Ooh, I like that vocal. So they have that backing guitar following it, and it's going up still. I'm liking the string element in the background too, like. Okay, that just had Doan's thing lit up. Was that actually him? Because I feel like there was a harmony there, and they might have just lit it up just to show Doan love there. Because I'm pretty sure that was a harmony, not just Doan. Right here. And I don't know Doan's voice very much because he doesn't sing a lot. Now, he might have been the lead vocal on the harmony, and that's why he was lit, but... Gotta love a key change. Still on six eight. Like, what the fuck, dude? for watching. This song was incredibly sonically. I feel like here they took a giant leap mus musicality wise for me. Um, I'm going to listen to that song a lot more. I'll just tell you all right now. Um, I know it's been said. I think it's said about almost every uh, group. Um, whether it's, you know, a group like Twice or Got7 or, you know, BTS for that matter, Mama Moo, title tracks are always great. They're meant to hook you in, you know? But B-Sides is where you get to dive in a little bit deeper. I'll even say for Blackpink, I mean, Stay was kind of like a title track for them, but Stay is also a B-Side. That's, It's not like my favorite Blackpink song, but I really, really like that song. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, but Day 6 B-Sides... They be hitting different. And it's not to say that their title tracks are bad, because they're not. Um, but I feel like this song, Man in a Movie, um, was a huge step forward as far as their musicality journey and their and their sonic structure, especially being in 6-8 time. Like, I know I had a little bit of a rant about it there. Um, I kind of went off um, about 6-8 timing. But 6-8 timing is... it's I don't want to say it's an uncommon time signature, but it's definitely not ultra-common if that makes sense, but 
anyways, uh, let me know what you guys thought about this one. I thought it was phenomenal um, <laughs> in short. But um, anyways, thanks for sticking around, guys. Let me know what you thought about it. Cheers to y'all, and we'll see y'all in the next one.